when it came to the wedding sequence, I was overwhelmed because we were filming in St. James's Church, which I've been to many a time, and it's stunning, right in the heart of London. They managed to be able to get all of us ready, all of us in costume, and then we, for the very first time that we ran it, it was on camera. And, you know, me, Charitha, Simone and Shelley were all waiting at the end and everyone was in there and they hadn't even seen Charitha in the dress. And then, yeah, and then we sort of, the service sort of played out as it would. And um, it was kind of, a, it was an amazing moment and one that I will never forget. I, as an actor, just felt so grateful. I like remember calling up Chris being like, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me this. Thank you for giving me these scenes. Thank you for showing the growth in Edwina. Well, when you read it, um, the wedding scene in particular, there wasn't as much dialogue. It was a lot of like stage directions of what was happening, the different looks, when Kate walks up the aisle, when Edwina walks up the aisle, all the bangles falling on the floor. It's hard to imagine what how it's going to be shot and what it's going to look like. And then when you come on the day, it's really exciting to see the crew and you know our, our amazing director Tom Verica and our DOP and cameramen all like have a discussion of how it's all going to be shot. And I remember particularly me and um, Johnny were saying how vulnerable and scary it felt walking down that aisle. It felt like a real wedding with everyone watching you you feel incredibly exposed. And you can prep as much as you want and have and come to the table with loads of different ideas. But as soon as you're on set and you're together, you kind of let it go and you're in the moment. We'll have rehearsals. I'll work with the actors, uh, traditionally on a scene like this, to really kind of talk through the beats and moments. Because on the day, there'll be, you know, 500 people circling, asking questions, and, and I really want to make sure that we've tended to the beats and the moments of the script and the requirements of that to work with the actors so that we've asked ourselves those questions. And then we can play on the day about the spontaneity of what always happens once you get on set and once you start filming, because there is a spontaneous nature that I like to preserve uh, when we kind of get on there, because the actors will bring something, the environment brings, brings its element, and once everybody gets the costumes on and everything, it takes on a life of its own. When I get the scene or the scripts, you learn the fuck out of it. That, that's my technique. And I know there's sometimes there's an attitude that people don't want to be like too trapped in the language. No, learning lines. And yeah, we'll get on to set. I always love, I love this bit. So we, we do just a line read, like literally we'll just stand around and we'll just say the words. It's not like so much about the performance. It's about just getting the lines out. We know the setup. Then the director, and in this case, it was the glorious Tom Vereker. But he'll then tell us his idea, maybe. And But he's like so cool and open to like, but we'll see what makes it work with you guys as well, if you guys have ideas. I sort of love being told what to do though. I sort of really love being given the, like, I love it. Then we'll try that, see if it works a couple of times. And then we'll do a crew show. And that's when all the crew come in. And then we've got beautiful Drew and Pete, and they're putting down marks on the floor when we're doing the block and obviously sound are there to see where we're like walking about, see what their journey is gonna be. Makeup are there to make sure that we're not doing like gambolts and like roly polies around the gravel so we don't end up with like cuts and scrapes and our hairs all in, you know, see what elements we're up against. And then we start, then we start filming. I think people also maybe think of actors as people who, are, maybe it's because they're called actors, because they're always acting, and you think that you're doing lots of things all the time. And actually, a lot of it is about actually sort of trying to not do stuff and trying to sort of let things happen rather than try and make things happen. So it's like being a living puppet. And I think that could sound sort of like horrible in the sense that you're being told what to do. But actually, if you relax into it, it's very nice. You know, you just sort of finish a take and you'll have someone like adjusting your your bow tie and someone else will start fiddling with your hair and someone will tell you, by the way, you're, that line, it's this word, and then someone will move you this way. And it's actually quite, it's quite nice. It's quite a nice um, feeling. It's, it, it is, it's like being a living puppet. Maybe you would have to you guys just right now and get it. So if you saw the wedding scene on the page, it's an awful lot of stage direction. So what that tells you straight away um, is um, this is a story that's going to be told predominantly visually. And why is that gonna happen? Because we all know what the stakes are by this point in the season's narrative arc. Will they, won't they? 
how much the rest of us have got riding on the success or failure of the marriage. You know, everybody knows the stakes at that point. So it's almost like, um, it's like a ballet. It's like a dance. And you have to know what your dance moves are, where you fit into the routine and what the impact of uh, a movement over here will have filtering down through to you here. If I'm honest, you don't have to try to put yourself there mentally because it's all the work is done for you. It felt really, it really felt like a wedding. It felt a bit like you could just give yourself over to the day and the situation that was, which was get dressed. I, I, might, I mean, that's what a wedding feels like. You, you, you know, you get into your finest. There's a, a sort of shared experience, but there was something about walking down the aisle with Charithra and seeing Johnny at the at the altar and just thinking, oh my goodness, they're about to get married. And and for the first few takes, I just felt very shaky. That's what it would have been like for Mary to have been allowed back into the club, the ton. It would have been immense. And, and I felt that. So so actually the process wise as an act as an actor, it was I had a lot for free. I was given a lot for free that day. <laughs> uh, in the moment of the wedding, you just have this visual feast of a dance of emotion and tension and dramatic build-up and will they, won't they, and then deflation, and then you get all the outworkings of that that just ratchets it up a gear and takes us somewhere else again. <laughs>